All right, guys, we just finished up with Sean Torrente, and now we're standing here with Alex, and Alex is actually the guy behind Vision Marine, and this is actually a pretty exciting deal. This electric outboard is gonna be the first one that's gonna break 100 miles an hour. It hasn't quite done it yet, but it's, it's gonna, it's, it, well, that's not true. It actually did it at home, so it should do it here, right? We should do it again this weekend. If, uh, if everything's cool, we should do it this weekend. Okay, so tell us a little bit you know, obviously you said earlier that we're not going after the high performance market per se, but you built this just to prove a point that you can. Correct. So tell us a little bit about the boats that you are going to be going after. You're not going for pontoon boats, right? Well, to some degree you are, right? We are actually providing a solution for boat manufacturers with a 180 horsepower electric outboard. So we've been testing third party boats such as pontoon, ball riders, deck boats, uh, for the past years. Okay. The first one that went public and exposed to the world that they were going and selling electric boats were four wind with the H2 model a few weeks ago, part of okay. Beneteau Group. And other boats and other models should probably go along the way with them very soon. So in, next, in the next boat show, you'll see a version of that motor with less power. That one is a, our racing version okay. for the purpose of the race today. Uh, but it's when you're buying an electric outboard from Vision Marine Technology, you're getting the same type, a little bit longer because that one is a shorter version for race, and it's a heavy duty uh, bracket mount. Yes, yes. We have the same type of batteries with a little bit more range for the regular use when you're buying a boat from Four Wind. Today, that boat has a special pack for the purpose of the race to get the boat as fast as possible uh, over 100 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. So we have a solid uh, battery manufacturer based out of San Francisco, Octillion Battery Pack. We're a very good sponsor on the project with us. Worked yep. hard with Sean to create a special pack that could deliver 700 volt and over 400 amps of power for the race. Um, yeah, but this year, telling me it makes over a thousand foot pounds of torque, right? Correct. And um, Patrick Wiseman from Wiseman Marine yep. worked on the lower unit because that, that beast is crazy. So you can yeah, use Yeah, that's a, a lot of torque. So and with an electric motor, it's 100% torque immediately. Exactly. Yeah. And these, these are the challenges that uh, Patrick Wiseman, Sean, had to deal with. And we also had to work with Octillion Battery Pack to make sure that the, the, the power delivered to the system was actually correct for our system. So we had a lot of man managing uh, from Vision Marine crew with Wiseman, Octillion, Torrente, Star Marine. So it was a quite a challenge. And also Ray, who created that boat, passed yeah. away in the middle of the construction of the boat. That's so amazing. Pete was actually an angel and finished the boat with Ray's brother. And it was amazing. They were very kind. And also Pete, uh, carbon fiber Pete, made a bunch of parts for us to uh, make the boat as light as, as possible. So that boat is close to 4,600 pounds. You know, usually I try to keep these interviews kind of short, but if you don't mind, I'm gonna extend this one a little bit because I'm absolutely fascinated by this. What got you into the electric outboard? I, I was actually a fan of Poker Runs of America. I was running a 46 outer limit with friends of mine for many years and an SV43 and I love okay. racing. Yeah. And um, I ran into Ian Bruce. Ian Bruce is an Olympic sailor and a boat designer. He designed the laser sailboats. Okay. And the laser sailboats, people don't know, but he sold more than 200,000 units of that little sailboat. Wow. And Ian Bruce showed me a boat that he built. It was called a Bruce 22 All Electric in 2010. And uh, just before passing away, Ian Bruce showed me and became my mentor, in showing us, me and my partner, Patrick Bobby, how to push a decent boat over 40 miles per hour. It was 2013. It was That's a long time ago. Yeah. Nine years ago. We yeah. were crazy Tesla, back then. Tesla was in its infancy and I said, stages. You know what? Yeah. Let's forget the thousand. Uh, we used to run a uh, big build, big block for Mercury with our, our limit. So let's try to work and find a solution and change the world. Everyone laughed at me. And today, that company Most is listed. Most innovators, it always starts that way. And uh, we were able to actually bring a boat over 49 miles per hour last year at the Ozark with a model that we designed, a hull that we designed. It was a Bruce 22. In regards of uh, Ian Bruce who passed away, Patrick, my partner, pushed the boat at 49 miles per hour. And this year, we'll try to push the boat over 100 miles per hour with Sean in, in the memory that's of a, Ray. That's a pretty big gain. It's over double. And exactly. And no one has gone over 100 miles per hour. Jaguar Car Racing worked and designed a one-seater boat. I remember. They spent over $10 million on it. And they did 88.6 miles per hour. So yeah. this weekend, we, we will try to be better than them or faster yeah. than them. Yeah, faster, yeah. 
And well, it's absolutely amazing, and it looks stunning. This does not look like a prototype at all. This looks oh, like... Oh, these are not prototype models, actually. We are production. Production okay. has been running with Linamar Group. Linamar is a huge corporation, six billion market cap, public company. Wow. 29,000 employees, 59 locations worldwide. And they're doing the mass assembly in Guelph, Ontario. And they have 9,000 employees up there at the location to do the mass assembly of that system. How many of these have you guys sold here today? I can't disclose them. Okay. We have orders that will be disclosed because we're public. Oh, yes, very, yes. The first order that will be actually exposed to the public will be the one from Benito or Four Wind, and yep. it will be out on the market in September. So you're saying we should buy all the stock right now? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I, I say Little follow. insider trading right here on River Days Place, guys. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on social media, Lake of the Ozark Shootout, and follow us with River Dave. All right, hey, thank you so much, Alex. What a fascinating story. Amazing product. I really hope you guys pull 100 miles an hour here pretty quick. And uh, thanks for taking your time. Thanks for taking your time with me. All right, thank you, sir.